chances are, if you've ever ordered a cocktail and been really disappointed, either because you didn't enjoy it or you thought it just wasn't how you expected it to be, it's not the ingredients, it's the balance that's the culprit. So any component element of cocktail can completely ruin it. If there's too much alcohol, it'll be too boozy and hot. If there's too much citrus, it'll be sour and kind of uncomfortably sharp. And if there's too much sweetener, it'll be sickly sweet and just really kind of coating and too much. So what we're gonna do today is two experiments. First of all, to identify whether you prefer kind of less sweet things and more acidic. Otherwise, maybe you prefer very sweet things. And then in the second experiment, we're gonna look at exactly how much booze you find to be around about perfect for yourself. So you know you can add a little bit less if you find it too overwhelming or a little bit more if you're all right with that. So let's get started with the first experiment. So this first experiment is designed to just give you an understanding of where you sit on the spectrum of sour to sweet and your preferences. Most people sit in the middle in the kind of balanced ground, but some people do really like sour things. Some people like really kind of very sweet things. And you probably know this yourself, but I do recommend carrying out this test. So what I'm gonna do here is to each glass, which has the same thing in it, 25 mils of lemon juice and 100 grams of sparkling water. I'm gonna add sugar in increasing levels. So to these, I'm gonna add monin sugar syrup, which is the cane sugar. And this is equivalent to a two to one sugar syrup. So two parts sugar to one part water. In the first glass, we're gonna leave the 25 mils of lemon juice and 100 grams of soda water on its own. In the second glass, I'm gonna add 10 mils of sugar syrup. In the third glass, I'm gonna add 20 mils of sugar syrup. And in the fourth glass, I'm adding 30 mils of sugar syrup. So just gonna give these a little mix together to make sure they're fully integrated, and then we'll give them a taste. And as you can already tell, they're gonna get sweeter as we go along. But it's kind of good to understand where you sit with these preferences so that when you make a cocktail, you can think, okay, the base spec is 25 mils of lemon juice and 10 mils of sugar syrup, let's say. If you know you lean sweet and you prefer sweeter drinks, you can increase the sugar, you can decrease the citrus or vice versa. So let's give the first drink a taste, which is our lemon and sparkling water. Cheers, everybody. Sour sparkling water, kind of nice, but definitely a little bit sharp. Here's the 10 mils of sugar syrup added. So this is kind of dry, like a traditional lemonade and pretty good. Definitely still taste the lemon, a little bit of sweetness coming through, but not too much. Now let's try the 25 mils of lemon juice to 20 mils of sugar syrup and hundred grams of sparkling water. To me, that's pretty perfect. Just really delicious lemonade, not too sour, not too sweet just well balanced. And then finally, let's go with our last glass, which is 30 mils of sugar syrup. So to me, that's too sweet. Not crazy sweet, but definitely too sweet. And what I recommend you do is if you sit down at this end, you're probably looking towards a more sour drink. If you're here, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit more sugar to your drinks. If you like one of the middle two glasses, so somewhere between 10 and 20 mils of sugar syrup to balance 25 mils of lemon juice, chances are the recipes on this course are gonna be just right for you in terms of balance. But as I said at the beginning, they're always templates. So feel free to make adjustments if you want to. So now we understand where we sit on our kind of sweet and sour spectrum. We're gonna take this glass, which is to me balanced. So 25 mils of lemon juice, 20 mils of sugar syrup and hundred grams of sparkling water and I'm gonna add different amounts of alcohol to this to understand my kind of preference when it comes to alcohol level. So onwards with number two. Okay, so now we've got what I consider to be four very well balanced glasses of essentially lemonade. So 25 mils of lemon juice, 20 mils of sugar syrup, 100 grams of sparkling water. We're gonna make these into essentially a Tom Collins by adding gin to it. So I'm gonna go in with our beef eater and in each glass, I'm gonna add 20 mils more and we'll see where I sit on the kind of alcohol perception preference scale. So 20 mils in the first glass will be our lowest ABV. Gonna go 40 mils in the second glass, which is pretty standard spec for a Tom Collins, maybe closer to 50. We're gonna go 60 mils in the third glass, which is getting pretty boozy. And then in the final glass, if it fits, we're gonna go 80 mils, which is probably beyond what recommended recipes would call for, but it's just interesting to see these things. So we'll give these a little stir and then we'll give them a little taste. And again, I recommend doing this, drink responsibly, don't drink the whole thing, but 
interesting to see where your preferences lie when it comes to alcohol. So here's the lowest ABV of 20 mils. Still tastes mostly like that lemonade, which is really delicious, but I don't get much gin. Going to go 40 mils. Gin's coming through nicely. I think actually it's really well balanced. Could probably go a little bit more, so I think this might be potentially my favorite. Actually, that's way too much. 60 mils is overwhelmingly gin-like. It's delicious, but I think it's now out of balance. So it probably goes without saying that 80 mils, here we go, takes me back to being a teenager when you mix your own drinks without using any measures. Really boozy, really hot, but these two are my favorite. I think probably 50 mils, probably closer to 40 is where my preferences lie. But now I understand this, I can factor it into my cocktail recipes. So now we've got a pretty solid understanding of where we sit when it comes to our preferences, when it comes to sweetness versus acidity and citrus. We also understand how much alcohol we like in drinks. The next thing we can explore is different sweeteners. So obviously I've used a straight cane sugar syrup, but there are many different sweeteners that you can use in cocktails. And we're gonna explore those more in the next episode, which is just it. So I'll see you in the next video.